Welcome to another Mocket tutorial. Prototyping in Mocket allows you to build connection between screens with several transitions and bring your prototype into a higher fidelity. Today we'll go over how to create a sidebar menu with transitional animation. In this homepage, we are going to create a sidebar on the left for personal settings and information. I'm searching a hamburger icon and dragging it to the top left of the page. Set the size. To set up the sidebar, we are creating a new screen for it. For this sidebar, we won't make it cover the whole screen, but set it to 75% of the screen. And since the sidebar will be slide from the left side, it needs to be placed on the right side of the screen. So now I'm dragging a rectangle to the screen, set up the height to be the same as the screen, and the width to 75% of the screen, remove the stroke and place it to the right side, and send it back. Okay now we are going to set up the profile. For the avatar, there's no need to create from scratch at Mocket. Just simply go to the resources on the right bar, find a built-in widget, here we have image drag it out, set up the size, and upload an image. Here we have the crop choice, choose circular cutting, and avatar is done. Then let's quickly add several choices to the menu. Okay, here on the right side, we need some relevant icons. Head over to the icon resources. Let's search the icons that are needed and drag them out. So the sidebar menu is finished. Now let's move on to create interaction. I'm dragging and linking the sidebar menu with the hamburger icon. Then set the transition on the properties panel. Here we have several choices such as menu, drawer. If you want the homepage to slide to right with the sidebar, you can choose the left menu option. And in the previous step, we have set up the sidebar to 75% of the screen. So here for the menu offset, we also set it to 75%. We can preview to see the result. As we can see, when I click on the hamburger icon, the sidebar will show up while the homepage is also sliding to the right side. And I can tap anywhere at the right side to go back to homepage. Here you might think about that what if I just let the homepage stay and the sidebar menu cover on the homepage. We can also do that, go back to editing area. We can change the transition to left drawer. Also set the menu offset to 75%. Let's preview. Now when I click on the hamburger icon, the menu is directly coming out in cover on the homepage. Also here we can notice that the background is kind of turned gray, which gives this prototype to a higher fidelity. To review what we just learned, transition between screens in Mocket is really useful for building up interactive animation and take your design to high fidelity to better communicate your ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Mocket tutorial.